Thanks for watching the video. If you'd like to support the channel, please leave a like and subscribe. Thanks. How good is this? Hipwood has kicked this 65 metres to hit Charlie Lace out, and Charlie converts. That's an awesome kick. Cameron gets on his bike. Long from Hipwood. Cameron out the back. Did he mark that inside? I reckon he did. Charlie! What about that? I count four turnovers and clumsy plays here by both sides. Just really strange to see, probably fatigue setting in at this point. Jack Ginevan gives McCreary a different sort of spray here. Lincoln McCarthy comes in, tries to act pretty tough. Petty gives him the old little fake and he flinches. I think you get one for flinching, don't you? Cam Rayner, directly in front. Should convert. Oh no. Really great play here by Petty. The desperation to stop a goal is awesome. It's what wins your games. Unfortunately, they didn't. Was it touched on the line? Harry Petty. Just before the line. Review underway. Wow. Review complete. Looking at this angle, we can see the ball is touched before crossing the back of the goal line. Decision on the scoreboard. Well done, Petty. Jared Berry's going to be missing a week for this eye poke on Clayton Oliver. Has Berry, there is absolutely no doubt that, that those fingers got tangled with Oliver's eye. McStay cops the very rare bouncing falcon. That right hamstring cramp starting to go on him. The Collingwood faithful say, finally. Pushes it towards O'Driscoll. Ginnivan, is he taken high? Up by Sam Sam. The Collingwood Army give it a big cheer. Let him up, please. Awesome running by Crisp here. I reckon he bounces the ball three times in about 100 metres. Gets the pass off. And it's a stoppage in their forward 50. Not a bad play when Frederick is right behind you. Frederick just gets there. Gets hold of the jumper. Doesn't drag. It's in junk time, but this goal by Frederick is awesome. Last, he's looking for another. It tumbles very close. It's unbelievably good. It's really good. It won't amount to much. Jack Niven doesn't need much space to cause some damage. Long ball, lob. Needed to take the mark. Didn't Niven? How clever is he? So, so brilliant. After the commentators say how good Jack Ginnivan has been and how good of a kick he is, then he shanks it. Good old commentator's curse. Brody Meyer check the leading goal scorers across the year for Collingwood. This is within his skill set. Jack Ginnivan started it way wide and it stayed there. If this was a closer game, this could have been very costly. Six years at the Magpies, he's given that one a bit of a shake. 7 12. After Collingwood had the game wrapped up, Jeremy Howe goes for a mark right on the siren, and this would have hurt. Hopefully, he's okay. The pressure by Cosy Pickett here is awesome, and it leads to a turnover. Andrews. Oh no, Darcy Ford in the heap of strife. Jake Lever rolls his ankle on the grass. Play on! Hey. Uh, Robertson. Stand! Hey. Back to pain. Rochi. How? That's Lever, he's twisted the ankle there. 
how sore do they want Petrarca to become before he's ruled out of next week? You've probably seen this one by now, but who knows what the heck was going on in Jake Lever's head. Probably could have been descent by the way he carried on before that. I don't know, really strange to see here. That's 50. That is, it's now going to be 50. Oh no. Jake Lever, what are you thinking? The umpire's about half a metre away. The flight path of this ball is very strange and somehow the ball still stays in. Couldn't strike the right part of the ball. It stays in. Andrews can't believe it. It's going to be a ball in. Petty realises that it's Zorka who's tackling him, so he goes down with the elbow right on the chin. Just not quite getting things hands, right. Hands off! Hands off! Hands off! So this is Petty and Zorko here, and Zorko wanting to go on with it as well, and Petty happy to grind him into the ground using that forearm. The pressure and ultimate tackle here by Collingwood is awesome. They'll do really well next week if they can continue on with this sort of pressure. pressure from both sides. Payne didn't make great connection with this and Cozzy Pickett cleans it up. High footy, Payne, Pickett, goal, right on the eve of half time. Pickett's got a this is holding the ball for me, but the night before, Jared Berry had the ball, spun two times, and then taken a ground, got the handball away, and that wasn't holding the ball, but this one is. For me, it's just the consistency that annoys me. Dockers, Radham is just about close to their best and fairest this year, and he's an outstanding player. Uh, the bounce of the ball... Switkowski goes for the smother, and he misses, and Darcy Moore kicks him straight in the chest. Didn't win it cleanly in the air. Had the clock has the win. And Switkowski has had the win knocked out of him. So three quarter time. This is the other one that I'm talking about where Barry's tackled almost immediately. He gets spun two times, gets the handball away, and this one's play on. I know it's in the fourth quarter, so the umpires put the whistle away. Call it or don't, gotta be more consistent. Melbourne's ability to keep the ball in here went a long way. Unfortunately, they couldn't convert. Barrow stayed in. Vikeson. Pickett. Cozzy Pickett. <laughs> it stays inside the field of play. Hunt arches the back, gives it off to Cozzy Pickett. Thanks again for watching guys. Unfortunately last week I was a little bit sick. I'm on the mend now. So hopefully I'll have time to put together the next two videos. Which, which will be the four teams that play each other to go into the grand final. So I'll take a look at the Cats versus the Lions and the Swans versus the Pies. Here's another oddity for you. The next two games are two cats playing each other and two birds playing each other. There's a useless stat for you. Thanks again for watching. If you made it all the way to the end, leave a comment. Cats versus birds. Thanks again.